Hello all, welcome to part 17 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to practically show you how to log exception details into the generated Extent Report. If your tests raise an exception, in that case, these exception details, if you want to log into the generated Extent Report, then what we have to do that I am going to practically show you in this session. So let's get started. So how to log the exception details raised by the code into the generated extent reports is something I'm going to cover practical in this session. So I'm going to go with the practical demonstration, guys. So let me quickly switch to the Eclipse ID where we have this uh, sample code which we are using from the previous sessions. OK. OK, here what we are going to do is I'm going to take this object reference of the extent reports and call a method known as create as first I'll create a test case. OK. So before raising an exception or before I make this code raise an exception, I'll first create a test. I'll just name this uh, test as anything. This test will be created in the report guys, extent report, generate extent report. Test one I'll just name and this will return you the object of the extent test. E test one I'll say and uh, the return type of this create test method will get added here. If I simply hover the mouse on this and say create local variable, okay, extent test, E test one. Now, using this e test one, okay. So, what I want to do is, I want to uh, first of all, before using this object reference of the extent test, I want to use try catch blocks. Try catch blocks, okay. So, let's say there is an exception coming, exception being thrown, then how I'm going to log that exception details, okay. Here, I'm going to write a code which will throw an exception. For example, if I say int a is equal to 9 divided by 0, if I try to divide a number by 0, in mathematics, it is not possible. In Java also, this code is from Java. In Java also, it is not possible, guys. The way it's not possible in mathematics, it's not also possible in Java. And Java actually throws an arithmetic exception. Okay? So, arithmetic exception will be thrown here. But since we are handling the exception using the try catch blocks in Java, so here I'll be capturing the exception. Either I can use exception or throwable here, which is a, you know, right, a parent class or a grandparent class. Exception is a parent class of all the different exception classes in Java. And uh, throwable is even the parent of the exception class. Anything you can use, guys. I'll use exception here. That's enough. Now, whatever the exception that is thrown by this statement will be captured by this object reference E, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log the exception details, okay? The exception details are there in this E that I want to log. How to log that? I'll simply copy this E test one and simply fail the test. Whenever an exception comes, whenever an exception comes in the code of a particular test method or whatever it is that you are running, you have to fail the test, right? So I'll fail the test. And here, uh, here I'll use exception, okay? Fail, and I'll use this uh, object reference of this uh, exception, which contains the details of which exception has been thrown and all those stuff, okay? So all the... Um, you say if I want to get more details and all, I can do another thing. Okay. But simply e test one dot fail of e will be fine. Okay. Let's see how it will be, how the exception details will be displayed in the, okay, output. Let's see, uh, in the generated report. Let's see. Okay. So here I'm logging the, this exception details. Okay. Into the generated extent report. At same time, I'm failing the test. Okay, whatever the test one I'm creating in the extent report that is going to fail because I'm using fail instead of uh, uh, pass or something. I'm failing it because we are getting an exception. So the test will fail. And if you go into the log details of the failed test, you'll see the exception details there. Okay. So in a while, you will see that. Okay. All right, the run as Java application. So the extent report will be generated first and in that uh, test one will be created. The test one will be failed because of the exception. That is arithmetic exception using it. At high level, it is failed because we have intentionally failed it using the fail method. And uh, the reason for the failures are displayed here. You see, if you want to see the complete details, you can see like this. Java.lang.arithmetic exception divided by zero at uh, test uh, at this line, at this particular class and all those things, okay? In the main side of the main method, it got displayed, okay? You see the log is also marked as fail here, okay? So this is how, guys, uh, we can display or log the exception details into the extent reports, okay? So this is the process. So hope, guys, you understood how to log the exception details into the generated extent report in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on extent reports. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.